Hello, um, it's been a little while since I've done a tutorial, but I wanted to try and recommit to doing the tutorials and doing the, the modding scene. So I thought what I'd do is I'd open up with a really simple tutorial just to ease myself back into it. And what that is going to be is going to be uh, script namespaces. So effectively these script namespaces allow you to organise your scripts by mods it makes your scripts folder a lot cleaner and frankly it makes archive creation a lot easier because all your scripts are just going to be in one folder so if you're doing a manual method with individual scripts you can just put that folder straight in or if you're creating an archive you can just really easily see where all your scripts are and if it hasn't put anything into the archive you can just dive straight into that folder so it's really easy to do so what we're going to do is we go to file uh, preferences and navigate all the way along the side to scripts and you'll see here default namespace so I've already got something filled in but yours might be blank or it might have something written in there already but if you click on this drop down you can see any of the namespaces that you've used recently so all you can do is if there's something written in May you can highlight it and we can just write over it so I'm gonna call it tutorial new I'm calling it tutorial new because I actually already have one called tutorial that I've used in the past so I'm gonna close that so now I'm going to demonstrate how this actually works. So I'm just going to right click new and create a new quest for the purposes of this. I'm just going to call it new quest, but you can call it whatever you want. You might have something already in mind. Navigate back to new quest. Scripts tab. And I'm going to add a new script. New script. Okay. So you can see right away it's put our new script in this namespace tutorial new. And again, in the drop down, you can select a namespace if you happen to have the wrong one. But I'm just going to call this tutorial new script like that. Doesn't really matter what I call it. Cancel that. And you can see the namespace has put been put in front of it. Tutorial new colon tutorial new script. And we can see the same thing if we attempt to edit the script. Now, with other types of scripts like quest fragments they will be automatically put into the namespace so if I just write something in here I'm just gonna make a comment this is a new script compile it probably won't be able to see that oh we can see that right away tutorial new colon fragments and that's the name okay so again what's the point of all this well I mentioned that it will allow you to organize your scripts properly so if I bring up my fallout 4 slash data folder and I go into scripts you can see all the namespaces I've ever made or for any or any other mods use and here's tutorial new right here so I can click inside it and you can see tutorial new scripts dot pecs and in the fragments and quests there's the little one that I made it earlier and that'll be exactly the same if we were viewing our source scripts like this. They're just all nicely organized for us. Now, one important thing to remember is if you change between mods and you forget to switch out your namespace, you could sometimes end up putting your scripts in the wrong namespace, which doesn't matter for the functionality of a mod, but obviously for keeping your scripts organized, it can be a little bit irritating. So if you are adding a new script to a quest, you might spot that straight away. You might not spot that with fragments. You can rename them, but generally I don't like doing it because if you've got a quest, if you've got a script that points to that script and you rename it, it will obviously cause problems. So what we can do though, is we can go into gameplay, Papyrus Script Manager. But yeah, your Papyrus Script Manager might take a while to load up because it's loading up all the uh, scripts that you've got. But I'm just gonna search tutorial and you can see here the tutorial new ones. So I could in theory rename this and change it to just be tutorial like that and it's going to recompile it and it might it might still look like it's got the same name but actually it doesn't and we can save that also um i briefly made a cut earlier because i saved my uh, mod and closed creation kit and reopened it just to make sure we got picked up by the papyrus compiler and now what we can do is go into the scripts folder and if we go to the other namespace tutorial, which I renamed it to Fragments Quests, we can see 
QF new quest and you can actually see it uh, in here. This is a new script. That's what we wrote before. This has now been renamed and moved to the relevant folder. So that's pretty much it. Um, apologies for the roughness of this tutorial. I haven't done one in a while because I don't want to ease myself into it. But yeah, I basically use namespaces to keep things organized. So I've not got some huge just a folder just filled with scripts because I mean you could see what it looks like uh, ordinarily it's just absolutely full of them of all the different mods that I've made just without namespaces loads and loads and loads of them and that's really irritating so we're all just mixing together from trying to find a particular script it's a massive hassle it's just a general mess this just keeps everything nice and neat and it makes it nice and easy to put it into an archive so hopefully that was useful and um, not too rough. But yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.